You would never be able to guess that I have been to Disney World. If you um, follow me on Twitter or you watched my previous video, you will know that last week I spent it in Orlando, Florida um, for Playlist Live, which was a YouTube convention where I got to meet lots of you lovely subscribers and other YouTubers as well and it was an amazing, amazing week. I have um, documented that all on my second channel so I'll put a link to that below where you can go and watch my day in the Florida life videos because, you know, I did a lot there. There was a lot to do and it was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun so go watch those. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys what I bought whilst I was in the USA. First things first, I will skip right in and do Disney World. I'd never been before. I had been deprived of, of Disneyland and Disney World as a child and I'm the biggest Disney fan so this made no sense to me. So for the day I was a massive kid and the first thing I bought were these big mi Minnie Mouse ears that I did wear all day. Um, the second thing I got was this hoodie that just says Disney World. It wasn't a fashion choice, it was an I'm absolutely freezing and I need something to chuck on now choice because I thought Florida was going to be really warm and apparently we went there when it was very windy and I get cold really easily so I had to get this hoodie to keep me warm. Here's my Disney bag. So cool, I just knocked something off. Ah. I also picked up this hoodie. This was my first option because at the start of the day it was kind of windy but bearable but still a bit chilly so I went for this um, hoodie slash cape option which is spotty and it has like caped sleeves so it's lo it looks like a big cape and it has the Minnie Mouse ears and the Minnie Mouse bow and I went for this at first but then it got very very cold so I had to go for this and then I wore this on top so I did look Disneyed out. The other thing I bought in Disney World in this little bag is a little pea pod and it has little peas in it and they were too cute to leave you know when you do that really sad thing where you see something and you're like I can't leave it I don't know what I'm gonna do with this this is a thing of peas what will I do with this but they look really cute and I'm gonna put these peas somewhere and I'm gonna look after them see I even feel bad zipping that now they can't breathe oh it's okay they can breathe again Obviously another place to visit whilst in Orlando, Florida was Universal Studios which I was desperate to go to because as you know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. We went into Honeydukes, here's the bag anyway, with Harry Potter on it with his specs and things. First thing I got which um, I kind of got because of Friends. Now Friends is one of my favourite sitcoms, I've watched every single episode a million times, all ten series. I could probably quote most of them, that's really sad. I did not just say that, I did. Ah, uh, okay, rescue. There's one episode where Ross is on about saltwater taffy and how much he loves it, and I've never tried it, and I think this is an American thing because I haven't seen it in the UK. So I bought a box of saltwater taffy. I've not tried it yet, it could be really disgusting. Maybe I'll try some now. Ugh, God, this bag is hard to open. Maybe you need a wand to open it. Ha <laughs> Also, being in Honeydukes, I obviously picked up the Bertie Bots Every Flavour Beans. Absolutely terrified to try these. Not really too sure I will, if I'm honest. Unless there's a coder in here that tells me what flavour's what, I'm going to go nowhere near these because there's a vomit flavour in here. You know how I feel about that. Also bought the classic chocolate frog. Then, because you're only in Harry Potter land once, or unless you go there all the time and have a yearly annual pass and you go there a lot and you like Harry Potter a lot, a lot, um, there's only really one chance to buy a wand. I knew I wanted a wand, but now I've got it, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. The one I got is Fleur de la Cour. It says, fragile collectible wand, not a toy. So you can't play with this. It must remain in the box. Unloved. I want to play with this. See, now what do I do with this now I've got it? I feel like at the time I was just so excited and overwhelmed with magic and Harry Potter and now... And now to me this is just a piece of wood. Yeah. One of the days, me, Louise and Alfie went to check out the Mall of Millennia, I think it was called, and they had a massive Victoria's Secret. Here is the bag. I went in there thinking, well maybe I could pick up a new bra or something. 
ended up having like the best experience in that shop ever. All the ladies were so helpful and just the customer service in there was incredible. I'm one of these people that's really shy when it comes to buying bras. I'm just like, yeah, I think this will fit. I'm gonna buy it. I'm not even gonna try it. Um, no, I don't need measured. Thank you very much. Don't need you looking at my boobies. I can do that myself. Please don't touch me. Please don't make me get my boobies out in front of you. I'm very particular and very shy about things like that. So when she came up to me with a tape measure and was like, do you want me to measure you? I was like, uh, no, I think I'll be okay, thanks. And I was like, what am I doing? Just let her just measure. And she, she actually didn't need to take, you know, do it naked and bare and things. She just asked you to lift your arms up like this and measured you round here with your top on, so it was okay. The fitting rooms were massive and they'd write your name on the door so they knew and they came and checked you were okay and it was just really, really super nice. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the underwear because I feel like that's kind of slightly inappropriate and kind of gross, but I also picked up this, which is one of their perfumes, and it's called Bombshell. This one reminded me, it's such a cute little bottle, it reminded me of a really old perfume that I used to have called Gucci Rush 2, which I find really, really hard to find anywhere, and it just, it just brought back, like, it was like really nostalgic to me, so we'll pop you there. You can't see that. There we go, we'll pop him there. After that, we went into Urban Outfitters, there's nothing on that side of the bag. Urban Outfitters! Yay! We have an Urban Outfitters in the UK. I know this, I know. But look how cool the bags are here. They're fabric. They probably have these in the UK too, but I've just never spotted them. And me and Louise went a bit mental over nail polish. I think we were having a bit of a weird moment. So I picked up quite a lot of nail polishes because it was like buy two for five dollars or something. So there's this one which is called Oyster, which is a shimmery, sort of pinky, nice, cool colour. Picked up this one which is like um, a yellowy lime called Slime, which is like the grossest name for a nail polish ever if you ask me. This one which is a grey blue and that is called Barstool, a really really nice lilac-y baby pastel bluey colour called Crowded. This really nice muted kind of cementy green kind of like boggy colour and it's called girl like you but not just with one r with two r's that's girl with attitude an amazing glittery sparkly one called unicorn best name best nail polish i just want to put this on top of every single nail polish that i own a bright fluorescent yellow don't know why i got this i already have one like this ringo this one's called and lastly a very dirty gray colour called smoke Oh, these would look quite nice together, actually. We then ventured into Forever 21, which we also now have in the UK, but obviously different stock, different pricing, a lot of different things. Oh no, something just dropped out, never mind. Jewellery. I got this set of three rings, just because I like my rings, and they did them in a small size. So there's those. Pack of earrings. I like studs, and this, Top one is just tiny little rose gold studs, gold pyramidy ones, and then tiny little silver spiky ones. And then two rings, one that has a little black moustache and one that has a pair of glasses. So I've got those as well. I've got this necklace, which is like a really odd colour that I had never seen before. It's kind of like a pewtery copper, if that makes any sense really dulled down and spiky and I liked it because it's just not a colour that I would have ever seen before and probably could go with quite a lot of things. Oh, it's a rose gold necklace, wow, who would have ever thought it? Some spikes on there, just nice, simple, I like that. This is slightly different and slightly more daring for me. A neon yellow chain. I don't know where I'm going to wear this. But I'm going to make it work somehow. I thought maybe, because I wear a lot of like monochrome, this could kind of make it a bit more colourful. I also picked up this neon greeny yellow baggy t-shirt. I got these trousers. Oh, dropped them. Which are the sort of like loose kind of harimi type that go like tighter at the bottom. I just liked the pattern on these. I've been looking for a pair of these forever. I just think like something like this with this tucked in would just look really nice in summer. And then lastly, from Forever 21, I picked up these adorable little shorts. 
that are green with little pink ice creams. They're like little ice cream sundaes. Don't know if you can see those. Um, and I just thought they would be cute for summer too. Next place we went, which won't be exciting for you Americans because it's kind of like our equivalent to 24 hour Asda or 24 hour Tesco, but we went to Walmart because we wanted to experience all the variety of foods. The first thing I picked up are ice breakers, the sour ones. These ones are green apple, watermelon, tangerine flavour. These are delicious. Why don't we have these here? I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Also picked up Icebreaker Duo Fruit and Cool Raspberry Flavour. Extra Dessert Delights Sugar Free Gum Lemon Square Artificially Flavoured. See, looking at these now, they sound so gross, but at the time I was like, these are going to taste amazing. Hmm. Massive packs of these, Extra Fruit Sensations Sweet Watermelon and Extra Dessert Delights Sugar Free Gum Rainbow Sherbet Flavour Chewing Gum that are different flavours than mint Mind blown Then obviously you can't be in Walmart without checking out the makeup selection that they have there um, I must admit there weren't too many brands there that we didn't have here um, but there were a lot of things that I saw there that I was like, wait a minute, I don't think we have this. So I picked up some things. The Physicians Formula, because I'm pretty sure we don't have this. Shimmering Strips, Nude Eyes. This is like an eyeliner kit. I think they're pencil um, and it's three different colours for like neutral eyes, which I thought was a really nice idea, so I picked that up. Also picked up Tanya Bear's favourite mascara, which is the Maybelline Volume Express, The Falsies. I don't know if this is the same one she uses because I swear they have like three different versions of this but I it looks the same so I'm going to give that a go um, and hope that it does my eyelashes, makes them big, does that thing, you know. Also picked up the infamous L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This is very difficult to find in the UK. I'm, this used to be my favourite mascara ever ever and then they kind of got rid of it and then everyone went what where's it gone and then they kind of brought it back again but it's still not I still don't think it's like the original version and I got that in black brown because I think that that looks quite natural and nice on eyelashes without being too full on. also picked up a L'Oreal Voluminous Mistake Proof Marker which is so weird looking. It looks like those calligraphy pens that you used in school. And I was like, what? I've never seen eyeliner like this. So I picked this up because I want to give that a try because that looks very interesting. I've just realized that I have two of these. Louise, I think one of these is yours. Louise, I've got your mascara here. I picked up some Burt's Bees lip balms because in the UK these are a lot more expensive than they are in the US. I think I picked up this pack of four for like four dollars or something ridiculous. I also don't know if I've seen this in the UK and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles Concealer Treatment. It has a sponge on the top which makes me very suspicious but I'm going to give this a whirl. Lipstick wise we found these, which now I'm looking at them, I'm like, what brand are you? Maybelline. And they're called Colour Whispers. We definitely, I don't think, have these. They look a little bit like the lip balms, like lip butters and the other things that they have. But they're like super pigmented and really moisturising and they leave a really nice shine on the lips. So I got a couple of these. I got an orange one, obviously, called orange attitude. I've got this really nice like fuchsia pink which is called cherry on top and I bought a much more subtle corally colour which is called coral ambition. L'Oreal things. These are essentially exactly the same as the Maybelline things that I just showed you but I thought that they were going to be like these which are like the liquid um, lipsticks but they're not at all. They're more like balms as you can see, it's more like a balm and they're really pigmented and again, very similar to the ones I just showed you from Maybelline. But um, this colour is insanely pretty. This is 173 Velvety Fuchsia and obviously got one in an orangey colour because I like orange. And it's called Fiery Veil and that's 117. So I quite like these. I don't know what they're actually called. I think they're just L'Oreal. Oh, L'Oreal Colour Riche. 
probably do these here too, but I've never seen them, so grabbed those. One of the main reasons that we ventured into Walmart was because I wanted to check out the Pop-Tart selection. Thankfully, enough of you at Playlist Live had supplied me with enough Pop-Tarts to last me my entire lifetime. I love me some Pop-Tarts! Oh! You're gonna have to take these off me now. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing all the things I bought from Florida. Make sure to check out the vlogs on my second channel. As I said, I'll leave a link down here and you can see what we got up to daily while we were there. And I will see you on Wednesday for a March favourites video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all on Wednesday. Goodbye! I will allow you la la la. Do you know what like, I mean? Can just you just like... imagine, without, without eyebrows, how bizarre we look? Zoe, leave your eyebrows alone. Yeah, Zoe, leave your eyebrows alone. And you, you sat there, you, who's yeah. over your eyebrows. If you're leave. there now, going, boop, <laughs> while watching this video, put your tweezers down.